What's up guys, CJ back for Kung Fu Night. I am here for another tier list. You guys love that first one so much, and you guys have been pushing for this next one, so here you are, uh, enjoy it, all right? Uh, so for this tier list, I have the same exact list of characters as I did for the first season. Now, um, I'll preface this by saying I looked at a number of other tier lists, and they had a fuck ton of characters. So many characters that I haven't even seen. There was actually a tier dedicated on this other tier list that would just that served just to house characters that you just don't know who the fuck that they are. So I think I'm gonna come back to that tier list, the other one with all these other characters, because I got what another four seasons to go on this. And I'm gonna stick to the very simple tier list with our main or early characters and uh, we're gonna see if anything's changed I know for sure one thing that's changed uh, for me so uh, let's just jump right into it uh, first off we have Starburns now uh, I don't remember what I'd ranked him as before but I remember I remember with the first season I felt like he was always just kind of around he had a moment or two uh, in in the second season that uh, stood out to me that I enjoyed. He seemed to get a little bit more focused than he did. A uh, moment I can think of was like the um, when Betty White was um, in the anthropology class. He got shot with a dart. He had some moments when I think Shirley was giving birth. I don't remember, but he had a little bit more screen time. So I don't recall what I put him at before, but I'm going to put him at C for now. And then we may move things around. Now Shirley. Now, now what I'll say with Shirley is, compared to the first season, I, I think she has gone down a tier for me. Basically, like I think I'm a downgrader to a C tier. I, I feel like I had her at B before, but mm, you know, she again, she's there's just so many other characters. Like everyone else, like just about everyone might be the equivalent of Shirley, if not above her. Um, that I'm looking at in the remainder. Troy, season two, Troy. Jesus Christ, no question. I'm putting that. This motherfucker in S tier. Um, big moments in uh, season two that I could remember. I, I love the notches scene. Um, I love the notches kicker in, in that opening, whatever episode that was. Um, Jeff had um, a, a little notch counter on on the desk in the in the study room, uh, like when he was having his abs referenced. Abed had one for classic. Jeff Wingers, Zingers, or I, forget, I don't know, Jeff saying some shit like that. Um, and then Troy <laughs> just had one that just said notches. A lot of other big moments here, but again, I'm not like we could be here all day. Let me, anything else? I can think of a couple more other ones, right? I love the no no juice. I love, and well, basically, I still, I still love the ugly crying. I still love the, um, you know, moments that he and Abed have together, okay? Professor Ian Duncan. <laughs> I'd say this guy grew on me as well with his time in the anthropology class. Uh, we did find out that he's an alcoholic. Um, you know, he had some nice moments in those episodes I mentioned previously, the Shirley Birthing episode where he just disappeared and actually did not show up again. A lot of late arrivals to that anthropology class and um, some good moments. Was, was Abed's Uncontrollable Christmas? Was that season two? Yeah, that was a good one too that he was in. Well, whenever, whenever the whole crew was just not Clay and um, Ian Duncan, Ian Duncan. See, I, I need to leave a lot of room for B for now. I'm gonna, we'll start him off at C. We might upgrade him. Okay, all right. Pierce, Pierce has grown on me for sure. This man absolutely killed it. The Dungeons and Dragons episode and a number of episodes past that, his hospital episode where he was manipulating everyone was absolutely amazing. Was the pin disappearing episode, was that this season? I think that was the season two, right? Yeah, that one was amazing too. Um, we haven't even gotten to that one with some of Troy's stuff and everyone else's stuff, but I'm gonna put him at B. I'm gonna put this man at B. He's moving up in the, in the world, you know? This man's this man is, a, is at an 80% average. All right, Abed, you know where this man is going. He killed it this season once again. Um, he is the heart and soul of this show. Andre's Dinner? Andre's? The movie where Abed was acting normal, but he was acting out a scene from a movie or acting out a movie. And Jeff was opening up that episode and 
There's the Pulp Fiction episode. Uh, loved him in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, loved him in the finale. Uh, so many cool moments. You know, Josh Holloway, shout out. Um, again, this man is, is, this man gives me life, I would say. Okay, Annie, Annie, interesting. Um, Annie definitely was still on the up and up this season. Uh, didn't miss a beat. A lot of great moments. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna put her right back at A um, for now. Um, came out strong and finished strong and maintained her uh, her level of comedy throughout the whole um, season. It's just a moment that came to mind just now. Uh, season two premiere. Britta's getting shit from everyone for that's not true. Bref is Bref. <laughs> Bref. <laughs> that, that's their ship name together. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Jeff was getting shit for, I guess not, deciding between Slater and Britta, and Britta was getting a lot of clout for her courageousness and such. And Jeff and Britta are playing relationship chicken. Side, they're getting married, and Annie fucking screams and bawls when everyone else was cheering at their engagement. Such a beautiful moment. So, let's see, Britta, see, now this, this is interesting. Britta has, I think Britta's grown on me as well. Um, you know what? We'll get to Chang in a moment. Let's just throw this man up there, okay? We'll just do that casually. Um, moments in season two that I loved from Britta. I, I loved the uh, situations with Luca. Seeing, seeing a little bit more into Britta's persona, her desires, what she wants and you know, how it can kind of be twisted into... How she can put her foot in her mouth. Britta has grown on me, I will say that 100% as a fact, okay? Um, I'm a little bit more used to her uh, way of being. I think I'm gonna put her A for now. I think we got Britta and Annie like neck and neck right now. Now this motherfucker! Oh my god. This dude! Fucking killed it! This dude knocked it out of the park this season! Yes, my voice is cracking with excitement! Greendale! <laughs> this man! Okay, every moment he has with Jeff is absolutely hilarious. The way he calls him Jeffrey. All of his hype moments. Um, the way he, um, you know, shoots his voice in an influx when he says Greendale. His story, his comic book story at the end of one of the episodes where it was an entire fantasy of, I don't know, I don't remember what the fuck it was. You know what I'm talking about though. And that wasn't even anything that just came out of the blue. They had hinted and they had hinted at it a number of episodes before. It was the conspiracy episode where the, and that was an amazing, amazing episode too. It was a conspiracy episode where they brought in the dude, and it was the fake classes, the fake students, all that, with the gunpoint, everyone getting shot. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, his play in that was amazing, but he mentions that he was gonna go write his little comic strip or some shit, and then later in the season, we actually see it. So this man, this man is in the S tier for me. Fucking amazing. And we have Jeff here. Uh, Jeff felt, uh, he didn't move, you know, I think I ranked him at A before. He didn't move too much uh, for me. I think I think he he, he kind of has his his place. I think I'm gonna put him at B. Oh, bro, he's he would hate <laughs> Jeff as a character would hate being on the same level as Pierce. Let's just keep it there just for fun. <laughs> Anyways, do I want do I want to move any of this around? I kind of want to bring Ian Duncan up a little bit, maybe. Britta is fine there. Uh, I'll bring Ian Duncan up once. I need to explain why, otherwise I'm taking him back down. Everything from, everything that I remember from Ian Duncan this season was him in the anthropology room. Uh, he still might have only been around for a handful of, a fill of episodes, maybe five. Mm, uh, I'll take him back down, I'll take him back down. Was he, he was a D before, right? This is an upgrade for him. I think he moved up in the world. I'm gonna assume he was D before and now he is C. All right. I didn't even talk about Chang. Let me let me take a moment to talk about this man. Um, I love the interesting twist with him and Shirley, uh, with the child and um, Chang. I don't think I'll be honest. I love Chang, 
But I don't think I gave a enough attention to to his plot lines as I watched season two, right? He's always he's typically on his own or moving around a little bit more um, than the other characters. I can easily forget about like some of the homelessness stuff and him living with Jeff and you know, um, you know, we're in season three. I'm only like one or two episodes in season three, and he's living in the utility closet at Greendale. You really, I really have to pay attention to him. His his ways of emoting and his expressions um, can easily lift him up to you know the A tier and S tier. Um, but yeah, th this man is a gem. He deserves to be in the S tier for sure. So I'm gonna leave this as it is. I think this is my. Uh, um, I would say this is my tier list for community. Um, hated it or love it. This is where we are at. Um, the only person that did downgrade was Shirley. And she's she's kind of a linear. Oh wait, you know what? She didn't have that. She didn't have that whole arc of her going to the the bars and you know the shit she was dealing with her with her ex husband. I like seeing that Shirley. I like seeing her struggle with that because it makes her a little bit more dynamic as a character or. It puts her in other situations rather than just, oh, I'm so perfect and let's make Jesus quotes and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna leave it like this, but if you enjoyed this, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Links in the description for Patreon tiers, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Peace. I wanna take